Jose Cardenas is the director of the organization Vision Americas and spent decades working between the U.S. and South America. He said this new block is the latest attempt to integrate the continent. This one is oriented around the shifting political winds in Latin America, and that is it's moving from what was used to be called the pink tide led by the late Hugo Chavez in Venezuela. And what he did at, at, when he was in power was he organized countries that shared uh, more of his uh, worldview, and that is a, a socialist-oriented worldview, uh, a major role for the government and the economy. Well, what's happened is, is that the political winds in Latin America have shifted towards more right-of-center, pragmatic, market-friendly governments. And they're trying to take advantage of that moment by bringing all these like-minded governments together in South America that reflect that outlook. So what it means is, if the political winds shift again in Latin America, we may see yet again another attempt to organize governments or countries into a new bloc. What's the point? Because there are so many other blocs. Um, you have CELAC, OAS, the Limo Group, Mercosur. What do they think this new bloc would do mm -hmm. that these others can't? Well, it's a good question. Uh, what you'll see in, in, in ProSUR, which is the name that they are given this new organization, is that this is specifically South America. And when you ask, well, why? Uh, we see the Lima group is being very active on Venezuela. Why do we need a new group? Is you see that if you look at the makeup of the 14 governments of the Lima group, they also include Central America and North America, including Canada. The U.S., of course, is not a member of the Lima group. But when you look at ProSUR, the new group they're trying to form, it's exclusively South American governments. And I think that what they're trying to demonstrate by this organization is South American governments taking care of South American issues. Venezuela is part of the South American continent, and therefore you see an element of we need to take care of our own neighborhood. And that is sort of one of the impetuses behind this effort at ProSUR. So what can they actually get accomplished when you have several of those South American countries who don't plan to sign on to this? I think that what, what, what they envision is, is because they are like-minded governments, as I said, they're, they share a common view. I, I think that it does perhaps present an opportunity to, for more trade integration within South America, and that is getting Brazil more linked in uh, to uh, the other economies in Latin America. Uh, uh, for, for idiosyncratic historical reasons, the region simply has not taken advantage of full integration. Most of the countries uh, traditionally are inward-looking economies, closed off from one another. And what we really need to see to, for the 21st century is more trade integration. And I think that that's where most of the prosur uh, governments are thinking, more trade integration and then looking outward as a group.